You want to learn Torah? You know what it means to learn Torah? To learn Torah, it means that you feel that you just received the Torah like in Mount Sinai, that you're humble, that you have Abad Israel, that you are united with all of your nation as one person with one heart. That's what it means to learn Torah. If you learn Torah in a different way, that you're hitting your chavruta, your partner, and you're arguing with him, and you're showing to him your wisdom, that's Torah? That's not Torah! That's the wisdom of the devil to divide between people, to make arguments, to make separations. No, oh, I prepared the class, I prepared. And you're just making yourself arrogant and proud of yourself and full of yourself and just full of imaginations. You're trying to show people your greatness instead of reminding yourself how low you are in front of Hashem and being humble. Rabbi Nachman of Breslev is saying if a person wants to be righteous, he needs to do two things in Likute Moran. One is he needs to be Magbi Ashfalim. He needs to rise all the weak people, all the poor people to bring them up. And he needs to be Mashpil Geim. And he also needs to take all the arrogant people and to bring them down. He needs to destroy them. And Rabbi Nachman is saying that if the person is not doing both of those things, Ein Shem Tzadik Chal Alav Klal. The name righteous is not one of his names at all. You cannot call that person righteous. Rabbi Nachman of Breslev is saying, okay, so now you don't need to be worried because Rabbi Nachman can say whatever and you don't need to follow and everything is perfect. But if you follow Rabbi Nachman of Breslev, so Rabbi Nachman of Breslev said that you are not righteous at all until you're going to start fighting with the evil. Until you're not going to start stand up for the weak and going to fight for them. Not only show your compassion and your greatness and receive a lot of honor from them and a lot of respect from them and appreciation from them and gratitude for them. Not only that. That's nice. That's half. But you have another half. What's the other half? That you need to fight. That you need to dare to confront the powerful, evil people of this generation. The ones that take control and possession and, and overpowering themselves and forcing people to bend to them and to follow them and to do whatever they're going to force them to do and forcing them to take the money from them and to destroy their families. And you need to fight against that evil. You have to fight against that dark power that lives, that runs in the world. And if you don't do that, you're not righteous. Righteous is a person that is ready to die for Hashem in every moment of his life. Not only to give all of his money to charity, and also to convince other people and to stop other people from giving if by giving they're going to make some damage. To go and to protect the widows, to go and to protect all of the women that their husbands are refusing to give them a get. Also to save all of the women that have been hurt by their husbands or by other men. Also to protect all of the children that are learning in schools and in religious um, school systems that are being destroyed by the rabbis and the teachers over there. And you, no, I don't want to talk. It's a community. The rabbi, if the rabbi is not talking, so who am I to talk? Maybe you're better than him. Maybe that's the evidence that he needs to give his chair back, that he needs to give his crown back. The rabbi is not talking, so who should talk? If the rabbi is not talking, it's time to change the rabbi. And if there is no rabbi, so you should be the rabbi. If you have the courage to go and to speak and to talk, so maybe you need to be the rabbi. Now you're going to break and destroy yourself with your low self-esteem. No, I was not learning enough. I was not doing enough. You don't need to do. You need to fight. You need to go and do your job. You need to go and help the weak. You need to go and save lives of people. You need to go and support the poor. You need to go and fight with those people that are destroying other people. You need to use the tools and the power that Hashem Yitvarach gave you and you're not exempt from that and nothing that you will do will exempt you from that. The fact that you're learning eight hours of Torah every day in Beit Midrash not exempting you from fighting for the poor. 